Hi there, my name is Eric McLaughlin and I'm here with a public service announcement for all of Canada. With all that's going on in the most recent days, I think it's time we talk about protection and how to protect yourself. Today, we're learning how to don a toque properly. It snowed the other day, the kids were cold, they're at me, oh, did you put our toques away? It's Canada. It's winter. I know it's May and it's spring, it's still winter. But I don't have a toque, Eric. Winter's up, maybe. It's always winter. It's okay. As a Canadian, you know that you're supposed to have a backup toque in the front of your belt at all times. Uh-oh. No backup toque. I'm reaching, but then what happens? I reach around to the secondary backup toque. Remember that, kids. You're going to want to flatten it out. Give her the old static rub. This is your standard issue black polyester uh, urethane toque with a phosphorus lining, of course, obviously. I'm not even going to get into the science of that. It's whew. So, what you're going to want to do, flatten it out. And we're just going to, it's like if you were in the shower washing your hair and you're doing like that, like that neck flip. I can't do that because I'm super out of shape. And if I bend over to tie my shoes, like 80% of the time I'll pass out. So, so we're donning. The toque is now on. Okay, the toque is on. You're gonna to wanna to straighten that up into the gnome position. Now, it's windy today, you just noticed. I went full orca. We call this the shamu, because the we're gonna move down. So I personally, I like to just pull her right down. You're going in blind. Usually that's a bad thing. Well, do you wanna be protected from the cold or do you wanna see, you can't have both. Are you still there? So what we're gonna do, you're just gonna to go to the back, one roll it, one roll to the front. This one's called a caveman. Just a hefty brow. Real hefty. We're just going to flip this up at the front. This is your standard issue kit that you would be wearing out doing field craft. It's getting colder out there, boys. And let me tell you, if she's chilly, be safe out there today. If it gets cold, you know what to do. Your ears need to be out. Why? Because you can't hear the enemy with your ears covered. You might as well put earplugs in. I'm going to show you the next style. You're going to want it tall as it can be because you need to know the volume of your hat compared to the thickness of your hair. Some of you guys don't have to worry about that. Just don't even wear it to. Okay, she's up. Now, I personally don't like it because my personality changes. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. I just want the Julie and the Pepsi. Uh. Oh, I couldn't do it. I had to take the toque off. Gross. Moving on. This is the average way people wear toques. Work? Shopping at Home Depot for home renovation products. And now basically, I'm just wearing a toque, so, you know, toques are good. Toques are good when it gets cold. Oh, looks like a new memo coming out for management. 